<laughs> I was just kind of laughing because I'm hoping you guys are getting faster as you go. I certainly got faster in that last video. Here we're going to graph again another quadratic function and we're going to first of all find the x coordinate of the vertex, x equals negative b over 2a. b happens to be negative 16, so the opposite of negative 16 is a negative b over 2 times a, which is 2. Negative, negative is positive, 16 divided by 4 is 4. That's the x coordinate of the vertex. That means that our axis of symmetry is x is equal to 4. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that right away because it helps remind me of where we're at. We know that our vertex is on that axis of symmetry. And let's go ahead and find our y coordinate of our axis of symmetry. y of 4 is equal to 2 times 4 squared minus 16 times 4 plus 28. So we have 2 times 16, that's 32, minus 64 plus 28. Let's group the, the positive numbers. 32 and 28 is 60. 60 minus 64 is negative 4. So the y coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. Well, finally, we have a vertex on one side of the x axis opening up through the x axis, and so we're going to get an x, a couple x intercepts here. Let's go ahead and fill out the domain. The domain is, uh, take it back. Let's, well, we can do that first. I was going to say, let's. Um, weight on the range. It's easier to look at the graph to find the range anyway. But we know this gra this parabola opens up the end behavior model. A being 2 is positive. It's an even degree so we know the ends go together and they go up because A is positive. Um, now let's find the x x intercepts. So the x intercepts uh, where should we do that? Let's use this space up here. x intercepts that's when y is equal to 0. So we're going to let y equal 0, and we're going to solve this resulting equation. This is where it's kind of our bread and butter in chapter, or uh, this unit 2. Now, notice, first thing I want to do is I want to see if I can factor this. But before I see if I can factor, I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2, every term by 2. That way my equation is much simpler. 0 equals x squared minus 8x plus 14. And I need factors of 14 that add up to 8, negative 8, but we don't have any. 14 is 7 and 2, or 14 and 1, so we have no factors. So we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. And uh, I'm going to do my grunt work over here. Uh, let the a being 1, a equals 1. Remember the b is negative 8 and the c is 14. So the b squared minus 4ac is going to be b squared is 64 minus 4 times 1 times 14. Well, what's 4 times 14? 50, 56, right? Is that right? 4 times 14. 2 times 14 is 28. And so 4 times 14 is 56. 64 minus 56 is 8. All right, so 8 is our b squared minus 4ac. That's our discriminant. And so x equals, so going over here, x equals the opposite of b. And if we look at b over here, b is equal to 8. So the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. Plus or minus the square root of 8 all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have 8 plus or minus. Now if you remember, the square root of 8 is 2 radical 2 all over 2. If we factor out a 2 from the numerator, we get 4 times plus or minus the square root of 2 all over 2, and the 2's cancel, so we get 4 plus or minus the square root of 2. So that's those two values make up our x-intercepts. That's what we just found. And to remind you, the zeros of the function, or the zeros of the equation, are the x-intercepts for the function. Remember? So the solutions to this equation represent the x-intercepts of the function. And so 4 plus or minus radical 2. Radical 2 is about 1.3. So 4 plus 1.3 is about 5.3. 4 minus 1.3 is about 2.7. And so those would be our two x-intercepts. And the y-intercept, we can get that by just letting x equals 0, and where are we? 
when when x equals zero, the y value is 28. So again, we we weren't not going to be able to see it on the graph, but we know where it is. So we're going to go up from left to right here, and from the vertex, we know we go up, and so that is our graph of our function. And let's see, our range then would be from negative four to infinity, including negative four. The function here is increasing. Let's move it over a little bit. The function is increasing from the axis of symmetry, so from four to infinity, decreasing from negative infinity to four. The slope is NA, x-intercepts, four, we can write it like this, four plus or minus the square root of two comma zero. And we already talked about the y-intercept being 0, 28. Uh, maximum value. So we have no maximum value, but we do have a minimum value of negative 4. And that is it.